why did you get in contact with Kurt Rob? Well, I wrote this open letter and I had admired uh, and appreciated what Geert had been doing for for this past, throughout this past year. And I don't remember exactly, but I just decided to send it to Geert. I think I emailed it mm -hmm. to his website and uh, because I, I figured he might be interested in it and I thought it might be helpful. Uh, and one of my purposes in writing it was simply to provide uh, support for people like Geert, who were doing so much to elevate understanding about COVID. So Geert, what was it that triggered you? Because you then shared it with me. What triggered your interest when you read it? What was it that caught your attention? Yeah, well, Philip, I'm of course receiving uh, many, uh, you know, uh, Many contributions uh, from people uh, who want, because you know, many people are, are thinking um, and saying that uh, the way I'm explaining things is too complex, too complicated, and then they, they are trying to simplify in their own way. And and most of the times, I have to stop after the first page because it's just all um, incorrect, etc. And uh, so, yeah, when people send me something, I start reading it. You know very quickly but uh, in rob's case i uh, immediately saw that this was of an exceptional quality uh, in fact he has uh, the gift of uh, explaining things in in you know a very clear language very clearly understandable and a good compromise between the, the signs and um, let's say the uh, the type of language that is also accessible uh, to lay people without without compromising accuracy so that is very very exceptional and uh, before i knew it i had read uh, 10 or 15 or 20 pages and uh, i immediately let rob uh, know that i thought this was brilliant work and i guess then rob asked me to correct a few things or uh, you know to um, I was not the real corrections was uh, rather to compliment, uh, etc. So uh, yeah, I uh, of course I didn't know uh, Rob. It's also the first time we uh, meet through a video teleconference, but uh, I could immediately see uh, you know the type of person uh, behind this is and and yeah, what I'm saying is that it's really a, an exceptional contribution. I mean, the work that Rob has done is, is really, really unique. Uh, I mean, I've not uh, seen anything that is even comparable uh, to this type of, of work. And, and therefore, I think that's also the reason, uh, Philip, why I uh, shared it with you. I, I'm sharing it with uh, trial side news, etc. Because I really think this, this, this is the, the piece of work that, that should, that must be shared very very broadly because it's very comprehensive he's dealing with all the different aspects of uh, of covid 19 and um, you can also see very clearly that he wants to understand the, the underlying the underlying factors it's, it's not just like observations um, he really tries to depict the pathogenesis and how things are uh, connected and linked and uh, yeah i i could go on for hours it's 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 very exceptional i don't know Philip, whether you had the chance to even glance at it and, and read maybe a few pages, but uh, you, if, in case you do, you will immediately uh, realize that uh, this is an exceptional piece of work.